Hi girls, how are you? I am going to read you a book called Fiona Flamingo and it's for Emma, Addie, and Chloe. On a beautiful sunny afternoon where life was simply the best, a little flamingo named Fiona hatched from her egg in a nest. Little Fiona grew up making lots of friends. They played flamingo games from day start to day's end. As time passed, the birds all became stronger. They also got pinker and their feathers grew longer. They turned pinker and pinker. With each feather they grew, they got bigger and bigger until some of them blew. Fiona remained featherless until it happened one night. She woke up with feathers, but they were bright white. The other flamingos gasped and stared at her in shock. They couldn't believe what they were seeing and wildly began to squawk. Her friends looked at the white feathers, not knowing what to think. You're not the right color. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Whose favorite color is pink? That's right, Emma and Addie both love pink. With everyone shouting, Fiona began to get scared. She looked at her feathers and then she looked at theirs. You don't have to be so loud and please don't make a scene. That's when Fiona started shaking and her feathers turned to cream. That's right. When her friends saw the change, they squawked louder and meaner. Fiona got more anxious and her feathers grew greener. Her friends looked at the green feathers, not knowing what to think. Stop being so silly, Fiona. Flamingos are supposed to be pink. Oh no, Fiona, this is worse than just bad. But her friends <laughs> kept on squawking and then Fiona got mad. Do you ever get mad? I do. What color do you think she turned when she got mad? You're making me angry, she jumped and furiously said. That's when Fiona started yelling and her feathers turned to red. You're right. The flock became silent, hoping things would get better. But Fiona got madder and her feathers grew redder. Her friends looked at the red feathers, not knowing what to think. Don't you think you should calm down now? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. That's right. They all rushed to hug her and now Fiona felt bad. Her anger was fading, but now she felt sad. What does that look like? Do you remember what we do when someone gets sad over here? We go into the circle of love. That's right. She whimpered and she cried. I'm all mixed up in hue. That's when Fiona started sobbing and her feathers turned to blue. Whose favorite color is blue? That's right, Chloe. The flock watched from afar and their concerns grew truer. But Fiona just got sadder and her feathers grew bluer. Her friends looked at the blue feathers not knowing what to think. Just what kind of bird are you? Flamingos are supposed to be pink. That's right. No one could cheer her up, so instead they stayed away. That's when Fiona got lonely and her feathers turned to gray. That's right. A young chick floated up. Look, it's a little baby with a gaze so pure and true. I hope my feathers change colors when I'm as big as you. Fiona flashed a happy smile and her feathers erupted in color. It was a surprise to everyone. No feather was like any other. Look. <gasps> Pink, white, and green. Red, blue, and gray. She was every single color now and that's the way she'd stay. 
She's rainbow colored. All of you all like rainbows, right? Isn't that the coolest flamingo? The entire flock gathered round and Fiona gave a big wink. Can you all wink? I know you can. Oh, that looks good. I guess we've all learned a lesson here. Flamingos don't have to be pink, right? We're all different in our own way and we're all special. Wasn't that a sweet story? Each of you are going to get your own Fiona Flamingo book as soon as we can all finally get together. I miss you so much. I wish I could hug you. I'll just hug this book. Just pretend it's you. I love you girls. Love you, Emma. Love you, Chloe. Love you, Addie. Mwah.